a new species of dinosaur with an unusually large nose has been identified by a retired doctor in southern England. The bones were uncovered more than 40 years ago in the Isle of Wight. They've been in storage until Dr Jeremy Lockwood decided to reconstruct the skull of the animal and realised they belonged to an undiscovered species. Duncan Kennedy has the story. Gnarled, knobbly and what a nose. This is how the not very dainty dino would have looked like. And the USP of this VIP, it's bulbous snout. And here we have vertebra or backbone of... Its remains had spent 40 years in old boxes until Jeremy Lockwood, a retired GP, went through them. He'd always believed there had to be more than two types of dinosaur on the island. And he was right. I took a a bone which was a nasal bone and I thought I'm going to try and reconstruct what the skull of this animal looked like so I sort of put it into life position and I thought goodness me this has got a bulbous end to the end of its nose so it became obvious that this was something completely different. It took Dr Lockwood two years to sift through all the bones and his new species has now been confirmed by experts. Just along there it's where I found it all them years ago that's right, Keith Simmons is the one who found the dinosaur near a village called Bryston, which is why it's been called Brystonius Simmonsy. It was in 1978 Keith discovered the bones, and now the new species has been confirmed, he's delighted. It's nice, yeah, it's a bit of recognition for the work done over the years, it's um, all deal. And now you found out you found a new species of dinosaur, what do you make of that? Uh, some for the history books, really, and uh, yeah, it's very good. This coast was already known as a world-class centre for discovering dinosaurs. It seems some have, well, just got a nose for it. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, on the Isle of Wight. Well, we bring you a lot of variety on this programme, don't we? 